Okay, so we'll start. Does anyone wish to do a recount of session 51, the previous session? We began training, Sean and Minerva, 10 days and 26 days, respectively. Uh, we meandered around town doing some exploring at the obelisk where uh, we ran into Nevin, uh, who seems to <clears throat> be massive, a hulking giant of a man, looks pretty brawny. Uh, so we picked him up to help us out in our investigations. Uh, looks like he's got an axe and a spear, um, speaks with a accent. Um, yeah. And we re-met with Shiro at the obelisk. There are a bunch of people standing around sort of checking the place over. Uh, but, yep, we re-picked up Shiro, who we had left when we entered the town. And uh, then we ran into uh, Rare-san and spoke to him. Oh, actually, I think we did that before we came to the obelisk, but... Whatever. We spoke to Rare-san, who was... Sorry? We were, that was while we were there. Oh, okay. Yep. Ran into Rare-san, who was off to do things about town, and, you know, asked us <laughs> if we had used the Flame Lance, which we hadn't, and um, yep. He hoped we'd drop by. Uh, then we checked out his store, sort of walked in even though it was closed uh saw belly tried to turn belly that failed sort of did a bit of a look around didn't really find anything of interest got shooed out of the store by his assistant on trolley so trolley and belly i guess is what we'll go with and uh we went across the bridge looking for clues spoke to the bridge keeper uh, Shiro spoke to the dog. Um, we got some information sort of about these zombies that are not at all zombies. Um, more like infectious schools that don't like paralyze people, but rather 28 days later them. Um, yeah, I think that's... And then we return to the inn. I believe that's the summary of the session. Did I miss stuff? No, that's probably fair. That's about it. I, mean, I think we did we did drop by the garrison and they said Oh yeah, they wouldn't talk to us. Yeah. We're we're pursuing we're probably pursuing non grata. Or maybe they just someone talk to us because, you know, the power struggle going on. Given the yeah. disappearance of Lord Castellan. They were just like F off adventurers. We have no time for your kind. Wait for the bounty board. That's what they were all like. I mean, which is fair, you know. Mm. We are just yeah, sure. vigil vigilantes. No, it's a career. We're more like privateers. But yeah, a sure. bit of both. Mm. Yes, so, uh, one thing is you do not have authority, so regardless of whether you are privateers, bounty hunters, mercenaries, murder hobos, yes, you just don't have any authority to basically do anything mm -hmm. except what the sword gives you mm -hmm. which isn't a lot yeah see <laughs> so if we landed murder hobos that'd be different <laughs> mm -hmm. cool all right so that's a good summation i will chuck you guys onto the city map And I need to put on here, let me get rid of the Shiro one. I'll put on the new Shiro token. Ooh, flash. And I'll put on the Niven of Nowhere token. Also flash. I, I will need you to move my tokens up. And, and your, okay, so sure let me just check out why they've changed play permissions are visible to everyone mm. 
No, you can't see his bar. They've changed the way that all these tokens work. So you can't see the hit health bars for text over that's a text overlay. Alright, so this one to editors. I can see Sean's or yeah. You, you can't see the two new tokens. So I've got because I've got to create them in the new token bar options, standard compact token or yeah, they've made this a lot more with. I'll work it out later. It's not important. The two tokens are there. Um, the, do you guys have the ability to see your hit points on those tokens on the map? Yep. I don't mind. Cool. Yep. That's all that matters. That you can edit them. Okay. I'll work out how to get those bars visible for everybody else at a later date. Cool, cool. Okay, so as per the um, party token, you are at Kindly Ollery's at the moment. Mm -hmm. And it's morning. It is. All oh, right. Um, I was thinking that uh, Kruba and Hypatia should get themselves great helms just saying at the blacksmiths today to idea. go with their armor <laughs> uh yeah and possibly two great helms no just a great helm each yeah i think we changed the rules today oh, um, okay. they don't break anymore but you can you can still break. I think believe you still break the shields to negate some damage. Yep, yes. that's correct. Right. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh. Otherwise. I don't think we can investigate the zombies anymore. Did we want to talk to Rasan when he's in the shop? Did we want to talk to I the smuggling wanna... captain? Maybe she has some ideas about the zombie attack she's sort of got underworld contacts she's our best friend in the underworld i think unless you consider willabrod sure doesn't know oh Ilyana. yeah that, that's true yes only minerva has favor with Iliana. minerva's been studying yeah i'd well I, i'm kind of okay with Iliana. yeah i'm in out of sure Owen. Oh yeah, Never. not out of everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> um, we should also talk about uh, talk to Lord Ca uh, to Jarek, I think Lord Castellan's son. So, uh, yeah, talk that was about... what I was going to mention. See what they what their side of the story is. Do we want to talk to them though? Do we really want to get in a struggle between some <laughs> Lord's son and like the Lieutenant of the Keep? I mean... Well. We kind of are like a player life. Sorry? We, we, what? Two us two people alive? spoke over the top of each other. Alan, Sorry, Lindsay, Oz. Go first. Oz, do you, what were you saying? I was just going to say, yes, we should. You yeah, should get um, involved or you should talk? Yeah, about. absolutely. We should, well, both, yes. Well. I think we should help. Uh, we should help, we should silly help find the law because you know he kind of did let, uh, help us not get executed, which is nice. Um, and you know, I guess it was it isn't. Uh, and you know, he might be uh, he might be more amenable in helping us avert a war between us and the elves. That'd be nice. Okay. Are we sure I mean, that's the case? So we want to avoid war with Well, I mean, you guys, you guys don't want to lose, right? That's a good way to lose. I mean, depends whose side we're on. Yeah, well, keep in mind that, you know, if we've got other problems in the valley, like, you know, the, uh, like, Giard, son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> and the all undead thing that's become very apparent. Yep, and the 
things with the uh, the aspects. Yep. That that's a bit of a problem. So what are we going to say to the sun? What are we asking? <laughs> well, we well, just information about what happened and why. Or what do they know, what what do they know about the missing cast lane? Because regardless of what side we want to pick, finding cast lane would be would be pretty good. Just in general, really. Okay. Yeah. Do we have any tracking abilities? I mean, uh, not magical ones. Mm, Nevin's got a a dog, a hound. Is uh is that thing a tracker? Is that like a bloodhound? Mm, not really. He can try. Oh. But who My family had trained time? dogs that could track. I wonder if um isn't there somewhere in town that does like training of wondrous beasts? What about whiskey Pete? <laughs> Don't think that he is a. Uh... He's seen some shit. But he has seen yep. some shit, but I'm not sure he's a bloodhound. I don't. Also, I don't think he. May, I don't think he really wants to work for us again. At least you know, <laughs> not without a serious premium. He got paid up front and didn't do his job. Says the spirit of Mark floating by. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some new faces that can go and hire him, and then have the old faces show up. Who is this guy <laughs> named Whiskey Pete? He sounds like a degenerate. Whiskey Pete. God. That's fault. Is that the bridge keeper? Who? Um, no, Whiskey no, it Pete. isn't. Um, let's just say... Sounds like a name that guy would have. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't see what you mean. No, there was, there was this scout who we hired, and he might have seen some of the... Uh, he might have been observing some of the combat we were involved in, at, 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 and it was rather traumatising for him, so, you know... Um, yeah, he kind of hit the bottom. Bit of a shame, really. Just good to get kind of. Okay. There are also, like, just a bunch of places we've never checked out in town, like Red Door Antiques. That sounds cool. Um, yeah. I mean, no. You don't have, we don't have to check out everywhere. I mean, we can. But we don't have to. Okay. What about Ellie, purveyor of wonders? It sounds wondrous. <laughs> sounds cheap. <sighs> okay. Hello? What about Marika, the of the discerning eye? Actually, that sounds kind of like a fortune teller. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, someone in the group has been to Marika before. I can't remember exactly who it was. Marika of the Discerning Eye is a gnome jeweler. Oh, okay. We all, yeah, we went there. Or well, Minerva went there at some stage. But she busy. See, that's that's how useless this exercise is. You can't even remember the places you've been, like all the places you've been. Hey, it's she's been alive for months, as if you could remember everything that happens in months. Uh, Okay. Well, I guess we can just go there. I would kind of like to pick something up that means that we could actually track or something. Yeah, we could get a random highway. Like... Well, yeah. Do we want to try and find a hireling who can track? <laughs> How long has it been since he went missing? It's been like a week, hasn't it? About that. Where I don't missing. know many humans that can track after a week, but yeah, I guess. Who said a human? <laughs> oh yeah, good point. You make a good point. I wonder I if the elf Vada. chapter house. Oh, she was here the other day. Oh, was she? <laughs> you should get her on retainer. <laughs> uh, Somehow. Dibs yeah. on making that charisma check. <laughs> uh, who, who is this man you wish to find? Uh, the Lord, Lord of the town. city. Yeah, friend of um Siobhan, one of our companions, <laughs> or, or employer, I guess is more accurate. And where was he last seen? We don't know. 
Yeah, apparently he just uh, uh, last week when the when these let's call them zombies attacked. Um, they yeah, apparently he was involved in in, in repulsing the uh, the attack or the incursion or whatever you want to call it, and um, he somehow disappeared, which is you know awfully tragic or possibly awfully convenient. I think it's worth trying try to find out at least. What about tragically convenient? In my Quite possibly. In my experience, tracking someone, you need to know where to start. Yes. Hence why I was suggested. You well, we know where he was. F- we know where he was fighting. But yeah. tracking through fights not easy. Mm. You need magical finding methods. I assume. I do not think that even a best yeah. trackers we had would be able to track here. Yeah, but maybe that's... your trackers are better than ours. I do not know. That's why I was like an animal, maybe. No, My family even... had hounds. They were very good at even, tracking. Even hounds would not, not do so well in this situation. It is too long. What about magic? One week? There's some kind of it divination? Is one week in city. Mm. Yeah. Hundreds of people walk through area all time. Yeah. How how track scent in that condition? Yeah. Maybe if no prey, but not not a random stranger. I would think. Maybe. Yeah. No, you're, again, like Lenza. Well, it's not going to be. It's not going to be a hunt. random stranger because we get to go to his house, right? So we could that's, take that's the hounds not, into the, the house. You're missing the point. Humble um, try. <laughs> he reaches down and pats his dog. <laughs> his dog is called Hound. Oh. <laughs> nice. Or Hund, but yeah. Hund. I can dig. For us, I think we should still talk to the Castellan's family so we actually get a starting point here. Rather yep. than just... I agree. Uh, assuming no. assuming we, that they've been he's been taken away from the city that we need to track him. Mm, yeah. He's not let's hold up in a, in a basement somewhere. Yep, or in yep. the keep, possibly. Yeah, that's what I'm more worried about. How. I'm more concerned he's in the keep. Uh, all I mean, right. I'm not sure why they'd be that keen about kidnapping him, but... Because military coups work that way. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> But like, what does mil- but what does the military gain out of controlling the city? Power, influence, money, a city. I mean, yeah, I guess a city. It's just like Fortified. there's not fortifiable defense. Yeah, I mean, if you hold a city for a long enough time, like whoever's above you, puts you in charge. If you don't botch the job, like. So That's remember how that knights the, get made. Remember that Castellane is the lord of the city. Um, but that the military do not report to him. Yeah. They're from you know, outside the valley. Um, they're direct reports to a larger um, and more expansive kingdom. Consider this to be almost like a fiefdom. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. It's like, like the military, there's not really much motive. Like, it just causes more problems than... That that would solve for them, uh, unless, unless unless there was like seriously bad relationships between them, but I didn't pick up on that much from when we were here. You've never met the captain of the guard, no. Yeah, but like there was no like there was no like overbrewing tensions or anything. The from what from what we're aware, Castellan <laughs> wasn't like hiring <laughs> like hiring like adventurers or mercenaries to protect. I mean. Castellane did part of the just city. execute a very popular captain of the guard, sergeant of the guard, rather. Yes, but that so... was for a good reason. Mm, yeah. Uh, I mean, when, when, your, yeah. when your friend is executed, I'm not sure that there's good reasons that are like they failed a will save. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm. magic is powerful. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. But regardless, I don't. I it is an option that they might have him, but I don't think it's a likely option. Fair enough. Well, I'm sure. can I just uh, say 
this is the best thing about running the game for you guys. You guys can just, you know, the most drama and conflict comes from within your own ranks. I can sit back and almost have a sleep. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Look, I'm, I'm keep having going. a go. Keep, keep Excellent. going. Let, let, let her take out a bow and arrow and shoots Kruber. <laughs> <laughs> Kruber snaps off the arrow, says, my turn, and watches as Lenta soils herself. Are you, are you padding your stats? <laughs> yeah. uh, she is an elf. <laughs> Uh, oh, all right, let's just travel to Castellans then and we can talk to them about what they think's going on. Guys, this looks like an awesome game. I'm going to join in. <laughs> okay, if you wish to head across the river to Castellans Manor, number seven, that's not that far to travel. Who is going? I'm assuming it will Later. be everyone who is here leaving those behind who are not. Obviously, we also want to grab those great helms for Hypatia and I, too. Yeah, that's a fair call. We could do that on the way. Let's uh, them, is that on the way? Well, kind of. 21, we can I make believe. it on the way. Justice. Yeah, you know, we want to make yep, sure they integrate with our, with our new one. Well, Kruber wants to oh. make sure he integrates with his new armor. Yeah, you're right. That is on the way. We go up this street and then across. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so if you want to do that, yes, right. you can. Yeah. You can. Yeah. We don't need to role play that. You can definitely organise some great helms um, for Hypatia and for Jaquan. You can have them within two days. They're a hundred gold a piece. Right. I shall update the list. Thank you, Al. There's not too much fancy stuff that needs to be done with the great helm. It's not like a full suit of armor that needs to be fitted incredibly well. Just a helmet, you shove it on. Ah, you do need a great helm to fit, but it's not like having to fit around moving parts like it's, it's as, groins you, you, and you, arms. You can just do sizes, really. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Well, what about... Uh, or like, even having... like races, depending on how, how much they... What about having our... Uh personal heraldric symbols yeah. added to it. So That's I've why it's taken the, the two days. The They're matching it up to your armors. Of a snarling duck. You don't want to look like all over the place. You guys are wearing full plate. Or snarling, full plate. A snarling duck. Let me Google that. Snarling that, does, that doesn't help. Duck. It doesn't help. <laughs> there we go. A snarling duck. Yeah, so, some images of a snarling duck. Under heraldry? No. <laughs> under under snarling duck <laughs> I have no idea. this really oh. no Cooper wants something that is slightly scary mostly confusing and also quite really <laughs> mm, mm, like it Cool. Alright. <laughs> okay, so yes, you can do that. It won't take very long. Head across to Castellan's Manor if you so choose. Mm -hmm. How are you progressing through the city, etc., and towards your destination? Walking, walking probably. We skip with great manliness. <laughs> I uh, mean, are you going kitted for war? Or are you wearing... Uh, or are you uh, dressing down? Oh, I don't know. I mean, Lenta generally always has her bow and her armor on because they're, they're, yeah. they're less, like, in, they're not really encumbered. They're just there, so... Well, they could be socially encumbering. That does Blender doesn't give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> Juquan wants to wear his armor. Never gonna leave his spear behind, but you know, Morning Star and sword just uh, battle axe just sort of sit there. That's cool. So you leave your least intimidating weapon behind. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That spear's intimidating when it's oh. got skulls hanging from the... Spears are incredibly intimidating and also incredibly efficient. But yeah. a, a whopping great big axe and a spiked club tend to be a little bit more intimidating, I guess. Mm-hmm. Because, because you know... Scalps are hanging from them. They're uh, rare and unusual. They're also more Rarer. chunky. More chunky and more, like, vicious looking. A spear is a stick there with a point on it. But anyway... Does a very good job at poking things. Absolutely. Well, that's why every single culture in the world develops spears. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's very useful. <laughs> you know, they work. <laughs> it's a knife on a stick. My God. Um, Genius. Yeah. A bigger board with bigger nails. Uh, sure. You can get across to Castle Lane's Manor. It's mid morning by the time you get there. Um, you kind of had your little debate about what you were going to do. You went to Justice mm-hmm. Arms, um, mm-hmm. went across the grounds around Castle Lands Manor. So, again, we're over here at number seven. You guys can shift your mm-hmm. token to denote your invasion. No, you won't want to miss that gift, by the way, Grail. Mm-hmm. The axe in the back. <laughs> I love the way it flies through the air. <laughs> Physics. <laughs> it is pretty impressive. <laughs> it's kind of like watching a car crash. You can't look away from it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I shall. <coughs> um, so the castle's manor has a number of men at arms. Um, his personal guard um, have pretty much secured the area. They will halt you as you approach. Who are you? What do you want? Well, this was someone who is but who's good at talking but I, 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 I forced you I forced you guys to do, to come here so now you uh, can deal with it. Hello. Um I, uh, my name is Hypatia and this is the this is my and the, the this is my <laughs> the rest of my adventuring party. Um, we wish to uh, we uh, we wish to talk to uh, talk to Jack about the disappearance of his father, and to uh, perhaps to a, 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 to to a, try and assist in finding him. So you do not have information. Um, no, we just like to. Uh, I suppose we just like to. Uh, uh, if he if he is anymore. If he can tell us anything else about the circumstances in which he disappeared, we might be able to uh, to, to, to to try and find him. I guess. Why do you come so armed? If you wish to talk, I don't, I'm always like this. Doesn't matter where I'm at. You're an elf. I guess you're not to be trusted anyway. Is... Yeah, no, exactly. What's the why, why try? And I suppose that's a fair comment. I guess. I guess. I guess we are. We tend to. Ex, uh, ex, I, I think we. I suppose uh, in our line of profession, we tend to ex, ex, expect trouble uh, more often than not. Though obviously not from yourself. Might I add? Not last week you were invaded by zombies. You want <laughs> me to walk around town in town full of zombies, without weapon? He looks up at Nevin. Mm-hmm. Considering that Nevin has six foot eleven, and he he nods. Yes, we were attacked by something that occurred from within the walls of the city. The Lord is missing. Jarek is cautious to say the least. He would would he would want the return of his father. I have no doubt. He has engaged us to keep the rest of the family safe. Who knows who might come to put an end to his line? Surely not friends of uh, Cinnabon. You know, we're we're here to help the Lord. Hmm. If, he, if if it makes him feel comfortable, we ha- uh, if you have a safe place for us to leave our leave our arms while we see Jarek and the safe distance, please, we can do that. Please, high patient, let me help you. Please, guards, don't be so intimidated by us. Why Nevin here left his spear behind? <laughs> and he brought every, all, all of his other weapons. 
If you, well, was this? I left someone with it behind. I do not know if uh, the Lord Jarek will be able to t speak to you at the moment. He is busy. He is doing what I he can in the absence of his father. We will he send... likes chewy toffees. Is that true? I do not know. Has he chewed a really chewy toffee that he is unable to come and talk to us now? More along the lines of he is busy, engaged in the affairs of the city, oh, and trying he's to make busy sure with affairs. We understand. Yes, <sighs> yes, that I is know. exactly what he body. is involved in. I suggest you seek an audience by writ, and we will get back to you. Where can you? Where are you staying? It's the writ you talk about. Um, we are currently, they call it a currently always. Very well. As I said, that's where he left his spear. Have a letter. Have it notarized by kindly Olary and delivered here. And we will deliver it to the Lord for him to read at his next availability. And if he has time, a message will be sent back to you. And what were his favourite kind of toffees, in case we wish to include one? The Is that this guy will turn and away from Jaquan. <laughs> he, he will. I'll just grab him by the skull. And he will him. look to Hypatia, who seems to be the most well spoken here among you. If you do this, I will assure you that he will get the note. When he reads it, though, is his own business, and he will take his own counsel. Matters are grave, but you have my word, he will get it. You mean most helpful. I understand. Uh, I certainly understand that running a city is a bit. Uh, it's a definitely a very a very of an old thing. And I appreciate. Uh, I certainly would appreciate. Uh, it certainly would be nice. Uh, I would understand if he doesn't have time, but at the same time, we would appreciate. Uh, you know, maybe we can help out. Make a charisma that's, that's check, by the way, Hypatia. Sure. 2d6 minus 1, I believe. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. your charisma is pretty good. My roll already could. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You've been affected by the Kruber it's a, it's curse. It's not the worst. No. It's not, not the worst. <laughs> I mean, just I'm going to blame Kruber for that. that just just as you're saying that, a little kid will walk past and you'll hear him yell out, that's him, and point over towards in Kruber's direction. <laughs> <laughs> I need that great helm, guys. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. That way, we, we, uh, that way we, your voice is a little more muffled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more stuff under your breath. All cool. right. Okay. Cool, I guess we'll leave them. Yep. Well, then we'll leave. Yeah, well, there's something else for us, the rest of us to do. Not here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could, we could try to break in, but I feel, feel like that's the opposite of what we're going for here. I'm yeah, still here. Probably you. wouldn't achieve the desired effect. <laughs> you were talking to someone at the Thieves Guild the other day, weren't you, Minerva? I'm not Minerva. Yeah, I never told Jester. He's Shiro. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Minerva is off doing Minerva things. Mm -hmm. Rubbing her wand is what I understand. <laughs> That's what she does. Polishes her wand. Yes, she can do it twice a day now. <laughs> Soon that three times a day. Content. She's trying to learn how to do it three times a day. Look, it takes time. Training. Mm, Focus. Money. Money. Lots money. of money. Takes a lot of money. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, it does. Uh, standing in the street, we could ask this person where they went missing, um, or if they did a search for him. Did they use hounds? These are the type of questions that would be good, maybe. Sure, is just like looking up at Hypatia being like, hey, I'm, I'm throwing my hands in the air. I know nobody can see me, but it's, no one can see Shiro either, so it's okay. It's pretty clear that even with Hypatia's words that the group has worn out their welcome here at this point in time. Fine. 
as a side note, I was not super armed. I've just got like two daggers, so that's fine. <laughs> but you know, turning up in moderate, not medium to heavy armor with large weapons is not what you would generally do to a lord's house unless you yeah. decide that you were going to make the lord's house your house. Mm. Well, keeping in mind the recent history of the town, I don't think it's unreasonable for people to walk around moderately heavily armed. Mm. That, that, that's a town, not the... not the. There's a very much big difference between the town that's and... That's all right. You were given a reason why it was suspicious. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. you have to walk through town to get to there, and you're not going to just go... Oh well, I'll just chuck my weapon on the side of the road. You know, you, you know, as a matter of um, you know, you know, curiosity, most historical towns, towns slash cities in the real world, at least in Europe, etc., if you were carrying the kinds of weapons and armor that you are within the town, you'd be arrested and thrown in mm -hmm. the dungeon. Yes, mm. without question. If you if you were a peasant, yeah. Yeah, yeah, unless you had um, good reason to do so. Yeah, I mean that's why they had to bring in a specific law about <laughs> tools. They had to be like, this doesn't qualify. It was a little bit like a uh, laws that we're trying to make now with different types of weapons as well, <laughs> where they had to get pretty particular because people were like, this is a knife, and people were like, that's kind of a sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's anyway. like the knife sword debate kind of <laughs> raged for. Many times. Anyway, sorry. Armor is armor, though. You can't say your full plate is a evening wear. Anyway, well, I'm true. Not wearing full plate. Hypatia is. Yeah. yeah my, is a... Look, is. my argument would have been: Do you really think that I'm taking something that costs this much money off and then leaving it out of my sight? I don't think so. And they don't care. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, where are you going? What are you doing? Are you? Going to assault the keep? <laughs> probably not. No. I could, I could crack my what, 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 what we probably should do is have a sit down with everybody and figure out what our next moves are. Because we've got a whole lot of stuff that we need to. A whole lot of options, I guess, that we, uh, we have got. Did we want to talk to Rayasan now that uh, he's really. probably in the store? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, that lends a dozen, but that's just lends. <laughs> yeah, no, sure, it definitely doesn't. But it would, be, would it be useful for us? Uh, the only thing that would be useful is to know how he managed to ward his store so that, like, the undead did no, nothing to it. I mean, it was bellied to scare them off, obviously. He rang his bell and they were in is, is that obvious? Undead scares off undead? Like, maybe? If, 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 if belly's <laughs> a bastard mind, yes. Oh. If, if, <laughs> when also I agree on something... Mm. Let's take the ring side. If nothing else, yeah, nothing else we'll find. Yeah, how is how his um, shop escape damage in that area where most of the other 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 buildings were damaged or destroyed? It's a big question. That being it's, said, uh, asking Rare Sun a question seems a little bit like uh, a meander into itself. Sorry, oh yes, give me a few seconds. Okay. Yeah, a meander. Me added a twin uh, in pigeons in the sandy, perhaps, but you know, part of the yeah, it's just a uh, part of the job, I guess. Talking to people you don't really want to talk to. Hmm. Well, I mean, mostly we kill them. True. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? How long has it been since the attack? In a It'll week. be over a week. Yeah. So in two, basically a week in, I suppose, two days plus. And we haven't heard any news of any of the surrounding areas having experienced an attack either. No. They but... are undead in the valley. Mm -hmm. Yes, but how that might coincide with the attack here. You have not heard anything, no. Granted, there is no social media. 
Mm, use travels yeah, as fast as a person on foot. Yep. And when they're being eaten by zombies, messenger so birds. No, they don't use messenger birds. At least none that you're aware well, of. There's our new uh, business enterprise to make some money. We'll get the messenger birds to carry. They'll only be able to carry a limited number of things on them at any time. Yeah, like, you know. Birds, so we should call the service. Mm. Shh. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, Gary Brucey looks like an undead. He does. Mm. Um, I, I think there are undead who are offended by that statement. <laughs> <laughs> Only the intelligent undead. <laughs> yeah. They're still Some of them might have better skin tone. We could do Deliana. That's actually not... A, that actually would be a bad uh, line of inquiry. She might know of someone who might have smuggled something in. Or hopefully uh, she didn't do it. Are we also going to go and get ask kindly Ori to send, Ori to send the note? Yeah, yeah sure. Good either. I kindly already hereby notarize that they have yet to break both my legs and smash up my establishment. Fair. Also, I only caught Lenza wing in the six uh, soup twice. Elves. All right, so you're going back to Kindly Olory, asking him to get a missive to Jarek Castellane. Mm -hmm. He will vouch for you. Um, he's only too happy to do so. Um, and yes. unless you want to deliver it yourself, it will be a couple coppers to get it delivered. Someone could just cross them off character sheet and then, and then your plan yeah, was is happy to walk back and deliver it that's fine you can do that oh, there he is <laughs> what, you, what, 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 is, what has Kruber done in my absence nothing it's just the same orphans <laughs> Should we, should, we, should we just go kill Is them it? so they won't shout out anymore? I was going to say, someone That's a lot of orphans to kill. Orphans. For someone who has always been anti-murder hobos, Oz, you're starting to dip your toe into the, <laughs> to the deep end of the pool, aren't you? Yeah, look. It's just easier. <laughs> Is leaping head first dipping, or...? Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's, he's pinched his nose shut <laughs> and he's jumped in yelling Geronimo. <laughs> in, in full plate. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You can return it. It's not a problem. Um, so where were you headed after that? The, the, the guy who was there with the... Um, the guards, he'll take it. And say, I'll, I'll make sure that Jarek receives the note. I'm Have a good day. Apologize for Hypatia's behavior before that was uncalled for. This is why I freaking don't. <laughs> I still... This is why I want to send the death paper. No. <laughs> you need, to, if you want something done right, do it. Yeah, use some use, use so sovereign glue on Kruber's breakfast cereal. <laughs> I'm going to put down the flagon of ale that I've carefully brought just on the street nearby and walk away. Okay. Cool. I hope Minerva doesn't find one of her vials missing. <laughs> so your plan then is to head to the Kruma Keep. I mean, that's the thing. What 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 are we doing? Because we've got a lot of options. Yeah, I I'd be happy to uh, explore the Kruma Keep. I'd also be ah, oh. sure is like oh. I I would really like to explore those dwarven ruins. Mm -hmm. Probably good to have the person who can cast levitate with us though. 
that, that's yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, we should probably meet up with the entire party, because like, even though they, even though we have two people training, I assume they can spare some brief time to talk at the end of the day. Yeah, you can talk to them. Yeah, they can't do anything else, but they can at least talk to us. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, real estate's probably at an, a great time to buy. Just throwing it out there. Do we want a house? Pretty you, sure we're not allowed to buy because we're not lords. You cannot own, but you can definitely lease. Uh, Unless someone, you know, gave you the writ to it who was, you know, well off enough. Of course, he says he could, whether he does have that ability or not. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, he didn't. He didn't slick his hair back for nothing. <laughs> um, no, he didn't. So when he did they say that the bounty back. board was going to go back up? They didn't. In they the fullness didn't. of time. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Uh, we could ask at the shops if there are jobs that they would like us to do. We know Lacrima Keep has some need and would be useful from a research point of view. Yeah, I'm not going there without a cleric. I mean, if we want if we really? money, like we we already know about <laughs> the um the like the undead undead superstar team, whatever the fuck they, what um Kingsley wants to call it. Oh yeah, we could join them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, this is again, as Lenta says for the third time, this is why I wanted to sit down with the entire party and discuss all our options, because we have many. Sure. Fine. Go back to thingy. I'm not even I'm not even, one, I'm not even the one who part is, of I'm not even the one who has two two people, so I don't get to, so I don't even get two votes and I'm still advocating for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. We have moved back to kind lease. Yeah. I mean, we had done that a while ago, so we probably yeah. were already here since we got the note from Wallery. Yeah. Yeah. So, so considering, yeah, considering we have to probably have to wait till sundown until the other characters come back from training. Is there anything else we want to do today? Like, I wouldn't mind talking to Liana, see if she's heard anything. That seems a that seems not, not a terrible idea. She's I number twenty. Yeah. Otherwise, we explore. We can explore random locations around the city. Go sightseeing. Yeah. I mean, the I other thing to go to some The other thing you we... can do is you can say we will do downtime <laughs> things. Start, oh, you know, things that you want to do for a period of time. You could leave the city. There's there's a lot of options for you. You go to Lacrima Keep, like um, Jaquan said. You can go. If I flick you back onto. The valley map, and I'll have to put Shiro. I'll get rid of Shiro here as well, and put on the new Shiro, and I'll put on Nevin as well, just for completeness. Where are we? So many handouts in this game. Shiro up top, Nevin. I mean, if there's a way to earn like 400 XP really quickly, that would be great for Linza. <laughs> uh, do you know 400 really low level elves you don't like why elves in particular nah I was assuming no one in the valley was going to miss you I mean there's that's a lot of people, why... a lot of in the valley that the people aren't going to miss that's why Lenzo was talking about burning down an orphanage <laughs> <laughs> look enough enough orphans and they'll probably add up to something right <laughs> uh okay so Lenser, every I, can I imagine something. that that would add if up they're to only given a chance that would add up to a very large bounty on your head oh well only Ooh. if someone witnesses it it's an elf I'm an elf it's used it's only a matter of time really good old <laughs> elf on elf <laughs> uh now remind me you guys get quickenings right <sighs> uh, uh have you ever seen Highlander or no Highlander? Anyway. So are we just waiting out the rest of the day? 
I don't have are we actually going to explore the town? Interest in doing that, but I'll, I'll come along if we explore the town. Um, I just want to talk to Ileana. That, that's really it, really. Okay, let's start with Ileana. Cool. Cool. Okay, sure. I'll put you guys back on. For some reason, Shiro's health bar is visible, but Nevin's isn't now. Mm-hmm. It is odd. Nevin's too big to fit on the um on the screen. It, mm-hmm. it is possible. It is possible. That's why all the women like him. <laughs> all right. So Ilya, Ilya. Ilya, where are you, Ilya, when you're at home? Of course, she is at home. So, she's up at number 20. That's where she tends to hang out, and her boat is generally docked just up here. So, who is heading up there? Are you once again heading up there en masse? Yeah, why not? What are we talking to her about? She's not... <laughs> she has an idea what, how as if we could be smuggled into the city. She may have had. She has different contacts to us, so she might know what's going on. She might even have a lead on Lord Castellane. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's what we want to do. We want to talk about lead. We want to find Lord Castellane and. Work out what's happening to the zombies. Well, that's what. Sorry, when I said her dock, I mess. I meant her her ship vessel is docked here, not up here. All right. Yes, you can go there. Her vessel is indeed at the dock. It looks to be recently um, settling in. It's got some crew and some deckhands running around, um, loading. Um, some stuff onto it. Looks like they might be shifting off in the next day or so. Uh, as you approach it, a fairly hefty, jovial looking dwarf spots you mm-hmm. and runs down the gangplank and it bounces and heaves under his prodigious weight and it's amazing that it doesn't collapse or him, send him into the water. Hello, my friends. What can I do for you? Hey, Pesha. Uh, I'll greet him in Dwarvish. Or stone speak. Um, as a fellow dwarf. He'll smile and he'll pat you on the back and almost send you sprawling onto the ground. He's fairly hefty lad doesn't mm-hmm. doesn't seem to either understand his own strength or care much about it mm. ah, good to see a fellow what can I do for your and he'll he'll uh, say a few words back in the stone speak as well mm-hmm. uh, I believe we're here to speak with your captain if possible or maybe you have uh, some information but maybe we should go in inside before discussing anything. What do you want to know? Ilya is a bit under the weather at the moment. Oh, that's dreadful. Uh, we were wondering if you Can't hold were here. <laughs> was, we were wondering if you were here during the attack. Oh, no, no. Speech, or was that in trade tongue? That was in trade, no, no, was, trade, should trade. Yeah, that was in trade tongue. Um, is oh, she a zombie? What? No, she can't hold a drink. She was on the piss all night. Huh. She does know... Well, I mean, I don't know how you dwarves do it. Normally, we drink the beer and turn it into piss. Right. Anyway. No, she's... She's been up chucking all, all morning. So, no, we weren't here. We weren't here. We only got back into the city oh, a couple of days ago. Well, and you wouldn't have heard anything about Castellane then? The kid or the dad? Uh, the father. The missing one. Nah. Nah, I haven't heard anything. Scuttlebutt is, though, that um, he fell into the river and they're looking for his body down south. 
he went into the river. That's what word is among the captains and the dockhands that he was thrown into the river during the fight. Never Lots came back do up. They go into the river a bit, don't they? So I've heard. Uh, I don't think they'll right. find it. I mean, <laughs> there's been some there's been some things in the river of late. That's what we have. That's what we go armed to bear, not just for pirates and bandits and the like. It's more about uh, what's in the water. All right. Well. Um, I guess our inquiries with you are at an end, but since you've been around town a bit, uh, could you help uh, chap out and perhaps tell me about a few of the locations in town, like uh, the Oakleaf shop? Is that like a tea shop or something? Do I look like a bloody tourist guide? <laughs> you just look like a fellow who knows his way around. To the pub and that, sure. Oak oh, okay. Yeah. My friend just wants to get your short list of directions. Oakleaf. I don't know anything about Oakleaf. Some snobby okay. Elvish thing, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, is Ellie Purveyor of Wonders perhaps a... Uh... A scam artist, yes. Oh, I was actually going to say a madam. Uh, I guess so. Most people are... Up for a little bit, depending upon the drink you throw down. But look, I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Okay, <laughs> forgive me, our companion. They're very lazy and can't be bothered walking around the city and just, well, just asking everybody. You're new to this place, aren't you? Who's he talking to? Who's he talking to in that term, that time? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are new. Uh, as far as I know, Ellie sells books or scrolls or whatever. I don't know. Not my not my cup of tea. Not Great. not that my cup of tea is actually tea. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. this oh, guy, I sure this, do. This guy knows. He says, pointing at Jaquan. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. anyway, I'll uh, I'll let Ilya know that you came along. I remember some of you. Um, um, Bobson, when do you get off work? Why? Do you want to go for a drink? Clearly. I hope you don't mind when we get into a brawl afterwards. Might be with each other, might be with someone else. It's not a night on the drink if you don't throw down. Uh, Kruber will get onto his knees and attempt to chest bump. <laughs> <Bobson>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Look, I'm busy at the moment because the cap's under weather, but a couple of hours I'll be right for a brew where you hang out. Uh, normally, the sly wink. I'll see you there. But of late, I'm just warning you, the uh, atmosphere's really gone downhill. That's fine. I'm sure we'll be able to have a, a brew. I've been there a few times. I'll see you there in a couple of hours. Excellent. Looking forward to it. And he'll turn around and start yelling abuse at some of the dock workers who have, um, <laughs> who have stopped working a little bit and they're hanging around watching instead of loading the ship. <laughs> oh, can't trust anyone to do the right thing. I'll see you at the sly wink in a few. Catch you then. Nevin turns to Shiro and says... What is this ritual they do? It seems strange. It's when the, it, it's when pe uh, it's when some people get on the drink too much and they decide have picking a fight is a good idea. Sometimes it is. Yeah, I understand that. But they're getting on knees and bumping into each other. That seems weird. Yeah, <laughs> he's just yeah. weird. It's foreplay. I, I, I mean. <laughs> I, I, I don't really know these guys a lot better than you do, Nevin. I'm just <laughs> just going to say um, they're an odd bunch. You think we should go somewhere else? Leave them. <laughs> uh, these are hey. the best armed people that I've come across. Mm. Also, they kind of helped me out. I was really hungry when I met them, and they did give me food. So. You also, you also <laughs> helped us out, which we appreciate. So Yeah. Yeah. And there also, you know. A lot of trogs around. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, you don't really know someone until you've been in a fight with them, and I don't mean against them, I mean as comrades, although <laughs> against helps. them allows you to know them even better, but uh, in a different way. That runs the risk of you dying, though. Well, you don't have to fight to the death. We haven't trained together. So are you coming on the drink later well, then, Shiro? Uh, no. What's the point of a fight if not a fight to the death? I I like to keep my mind clear, my thinking concise. You poor bastard. All right. He's also like very young. Oh, ignore ignore Kruber. <laughs> as 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 you are both expertly de design. Um, what's the word? Um. Don't say. Don't like, worry, like Elf, and I tap Lancer on the head. He, I'll, I'll, I'll finish up by saying, yeah, he is quite weird, even by our standards. But hey. She <laughs> kind of nods. Um, shrug. Yeah. All right. I think. You know what I do? The world, the world, the world is your oyster, but it's not a very tasty one. Well, in that case, we need some bacon and some Worcestershire sauce. A man of Actually, culture. Linda is probably going to buy some more arrows. You're going to say your Worcestershire. That. <laughs> nothing too interesting. Sure. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on the shopping list. Can we buy those things? Absolutely. You can go and do that kind of stuff. So it can take you the rest of the day to sort oh, that out. Is well, that is a lot of stuff. Can we get the elven stuff, though? Let's no, go. we can't get uh, the elven stuff. Is it fine? Is I've already asked stuff. Dan okay? He's well, I'm fine with that. Your mic is making a lot of croaking noises. Or like. Like. Get the headsets on and off every time they die. There's a fair bit of stuff there. Yeah, I, none of the stuff that's listed for Minerva, obviously. Well, um. Okay, then we can do some sightseeing. But yeah, I, it looks, looks like looks like you want to visit Kukulain. Yes, it's Kukul. In fact, we don't need the draft horse, do we? Or do we? Yeah, we do need the draft horse, don't we, for the wagon? Well, we got have a cart. Right you have yeah, mules. We do have mules. Yeah. Cause it's, oh, cause okay. Because it's cart. Use the mule. Yeah, that's good. It's not a wagon. It's a cart that you have. Yeah. Right. But I still want uh, twenty times the oil. So we've got, you know, lots of oil mm -hmm. on the cart in preparation. Kukulain may be a fire nut. I'm just throwing it out there. So did Kukulain want to go to get a fire lance from Raysan? We already have one. Why do we need a second one? Because you have the fire lance and Kukulain wants one. Oh, yeah, Kukulain wants I'm, 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 I'm actually Kukulain to use it. Uh, he <laughs> might even he may even go and ask uh, if he could maybe test one out for... Um, He'd, he's heard that, you know, they're in beta, uh, under development, and uh, Rayasan's looking for testers. Uh, perhaps they're... Wait, let me find out how smart Kukulain is before I try to... We already stop. have one. Just use the one we have, rather than... It, that one wasn't given to Kukulain. I bought it. It wasn't given to anybody. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay, if you're willing to give it to Kuklain, then I'll Absolutely. just list it off the list. No one else, no one else is going to be using it, so why not him? Sure. No one well, might be that's... willing to use it. Doesn't, doesn't really sound like Nevin's style. I'm gonna, gonna say he likes uh, some, some dude you've never met before. He's gonna give him your best weapon. Okay, I'll remove No, they're going to give you a fire lance. Uh, is Hypatia actually <laughs> buying 20 ammo and shot? Actually, you got... Let me just check, see how much I've got on me. I have... I apparently have 20, 25 shot and powder. So, no, no, I'm not. Okay. I don't need that anymore. Or at the moment, I guess. Oh, and some wax, <laughs> like. I got some wax. Okay, I'll just add those to my ship. Well, I'm just going to buy two two quivers of arrows because that's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buy some for sure as well. Yep. Do we want to get lens or another grenade? 
Yes. <laughs> of course you do, because it's hours of fun. <laughs> <laughs> the odds of it going being too to be, to, to be fair, I, I, I'm actually very good. Very good with them. It's just that one was atrociously bad and it was amazing. It was atro atrociously amazing. Yeah, exactly. Atrociously. Okay, um, cool. Just, so it's just all the stuff that Min couldn't buy. Each 20 arrows adds another encumbrance here, Grail. Yep. Yep, cool. Awesome. Look, I'm encumbered anyway. So <laughs> why not max out until you, <laughs> until you get less encumbered? <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right. Um, yeah, Shiro would like to get some jobs around town. I'm not saying that he's poor, but he doesn't have any money, so you know, he needs stuff that can pay. Okay, just, just saying. All right, so Sh uh, Shiro's gonna go start looking for jobs. All right. Yeah. Nevin is going for a wander around to do some sightseeing. You've gone for well, a little bit of shopping. At, at the same time, I'm assuming if my dog detects any strange undead scents, since he'd be trained for that sort of thing, that he would point them out to me. Rotting flesh, every sausage shop. Mm hmm. Sure. But yes, otherwise, just walking around having a look. But, okay. you know, if, there's like a, if they're hiding in the sewers sort of thing as well. Uh -huh. Does this have a sewer system? Not really. Yeah. It's, um, Fair enough. He's just continuing his research into the undead attack because... It is a city built on a river with a high water table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sewer, yeah is, the sewer is the streets that wash into... The, with gutters that wash into the river. Mm -hmm. But... That's why he's here to find the undead or just right. look into it. And everyone else is just talking about shopping, so he's going to keep doing his stuff by himself. That's for the right. Rest of the day. You know where there's one undead? <laughs> he's going to go and take him on by himself. I mean, if Len Lenza would be would be absolutely willing if you if you wanted out some help. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You don't find any undead. And you can do a bit of sightseeing and get a bit of the lay of the land. Yep, that's cool. Um, about three hours later, Bobson Doug Nutt will turn up at the Sly Wink. He already looks like he's had a few. And he'll be seeking out Jaquan. Shiru, Shiru is trying to find work within the city, and it is you know, of an adventuring nature. It's a bit hard to find. There doesn't seem to be much on offer currently, especially with the job board at the keep currently not in use. Um, and a lot of the area which was damaged is being fixed up. There's, you know, most people are looking more in to the city rather than for jobs to go around and do things. Um, and there is a fairly hefty presence of armed people, mostly the garrison, but there is also more significant uh, visibility of the beetles who keep general law and order um, upon the city streets. Regular folk are not prevalent that as much as they have been in the past, something that you noticed upon your return to the city a couple of days ago, and it hasn't still increased much uh, it looks like the city is more st is still in a bit of a state of shock and uh, a, a bit of fear. So people are staying locked down, I guess, for want of a better term, more so hey. than they otherwise would. I'm familiar with that. Mm. <laughs> You've become a world expert down there. <laughs> we see any obvious tension between the Beatles and the Garrison? Nope, they seem, to, they seem to keep out of each other's way. Um, it looks like the Beatles are just 
doing what they generally do, which is just general little law and order, whereas the military are moving around in small units, more like keeping a presence and a watch out for any any kind of disturbance which might require a military response. The, that's new though. The, the garrison haven't really patrolled the city streets before. They had a few people out and about when the mercenaries were camped, but generally what they did was to secure the walls and the gates, not the internal streets of the city. So that is unusual. They do, the beetles and the garrison, avoid each other where they can. And it's normally the beetles that avoid the garrison. They'll kind of, you know, if they see a troop of um, soldiers moving towards them, they'll tend to just get out of the way. The beetles are lightly armed and armoured at best. They tend to be carrying, um, wearing uh, arming jackets at most, but more like buff coats, um, leather caps, mm -hmm. and carrying rods. They're just, you know, there to beat uh, beat up um, ruffians and. Uh, yeah, they're et cetera, constables. Pretty much. They really should be wearing carapace. <laughs> no, Just that's what the guard time, are wearing. Every time you say it, I hear beetles, even though I know it's not. Oh, uh, then they just, you know, talk like Ringo. Guys. <laughs> They yes. just talk like they have a blocked nose all the time. <laughs> Job done. Wow. So yes, but yeah, they're, they're, uh, they are constables. I mean, they could wear armour made of copper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I approve with gold cloaks, no doubt. Yeah. But yes, the, the troops tend to be in small um, uh, units of about five. So, and that is, and they are mostly on the main roads, so, um, but they do move around everywhere. So generally what you're seeing is like this kind of uh, type stuff. Yeah. Yep. Like across those larger roads. Um, they do still have uh, the their presence, which is sizable at each of the gates. It looks like if your eyes do not tell lies and do not deceive you that the number of guards or sorry not guards garrison that are here is significantly higher than what you were led to believe that the city actually had um, you believed previously those who were here that Sumberton had about 200 200 um, it looks like they might have more. more than Remind me what happened to the adventuring camps outside. They went away. They walked off. They went south. Not, not all of them. Mm. Yeah, they did increase their numbers. Um, the garrison, they drew in more when the mercenaries were here. Um, but they've got even more now. Hmm. It seems. It just, you know, because the numbers on the gates and on the walls uh, are sizable, and then you have the units moving around the city streets on top of what you still see in at the keep itself. So it looks like there is a small force here of considerable okay. number. Shall we discuss what we want to do with the entire group? Yep, I'm good to add back. Mm -hmm. Start talking about that. Well, I mean, Kruger's going to be drinking for a while. Yeah. So do we just want to discuss what we're going to do with the group? Yeah, that's what I was meaning. <laughs> Kruger's not that valuable for discussions anyway. <laughs> that wounds me. Do you have any preferences? Uh, yes, that there be fighting to get this coin to afford ale. I mean, that we, 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 we'll be able to uh, get that pretty easily, I'm sure. Krupa was interested in the cream of cake, but understands the uh, 
reason for why others are less keen at the moment. I don't. I'm keen to for the cream of cake too. So there you go. And the, the, the idea, though, you know, I very much like Sean to be the concern. He's yeah. He's the only thing we have to an expert uh, expert in undead, and we didn't have much. I don't think. For some reason, I think we did some research. We didn't have much success in finding anything specific about this particular one. Yes. Doesn't this new guy like? Isn't he an undead hunter? This yeah. guy, you know, Neville. Yeah, have you Nevin? killing undead? I do not no. know. No, ne Neville's the one who's good at killing giant snakes. I kill yeah. stuff. That's all I do. I never had to kill anything of like a ghostly nature, something incorporeal. No, I do not have the stuff for that. My magic weapons were kept with the clan. It's unfortunate. Some there. of us have magic weapons. Yes. It's yeah, Minerva's a... like, yeah, uh, they... Feel free to give them to me. I want you play. Mm. I have two magic weapons, and uh, one of them is not for you. <laughs> the laser is a Kruber. <laughs> That's right. If, if he has two magic weapons and one of them is not for you, it means the other one is for you, doesn't it? That's how yep. it works. <laughs> <laughs> Very generous of you. I will take the other one. I'm not that picky. When he turns around, straight in the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why would he turn around? He's waiting for the magic weapon. Because <laughs> I said, look, a potato behind you. Come on. I turn, look at the potato. <laughs> Can you see? There is no potato there. I do not understand the stupid joke. Now you begin to understand the culture of the valley. He was pointing there at Cinnabon. No potato. Oh, <laughs> no. Nah, she's more of a pumpkin. As as I have said before, we generally just ignore Kruber. <laughs> you mean, except when he's saving the rest of the Sage advice. <laughs> I was going to say, you can ignore him when he's off the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Kruber, the Australia of the party. Uh, it's, it's sage advice. All right. So ignore Kruber. So people would like to go to um to La Crema Keep. Well, what are our options currently? We've got because we've got a whole of, bunch. You have plenty of days, options. How many days have we been in town? About three. I hear that, you know, Mount Titania had a bounty on it a long time ago, and I know that that's not up at the moment, but I'm sure plenty of adventurers went up there and tried, so hopefully there'll be their treasure there, and also, uh, I've heard some rumours about things up in Mount Titania. What's Mount Titania again? It's like the really big mountain at the top of the map, top of the valley. Um, there's like Goliaths up there. Um, because we had so much luck last time we went up that way. You didn't go up that way. Yeah. No, he didn't, but Sean did. The Black uh, Edge, we went over here. Yes, you didn't go to Mount Titania, though. No, yeah. but I said we went, we went, out, went up north. So, there was Dragon over here, which we ran away from. Yep. There was a, went, ran, what is it, a Immortal over My there. My the Mortal. <laughs> Yeah, but like this is a friendly town right here. Look, yes, it's going to be there's going to be Goliaths there and stuff, but there may also be treasures and wonders. Just, just saying. Cool. So we got Mad Tanya with some Goliaths to kill, which will just be filling in time essentially. We have well, Creeper Camera Keep, which is what we, which is kind of the thing we um. Yeah, right here. We were we, we we did think about doing it for a while, and now that we actually have magic weapons, we might actually be able to do something about it. Mm -hmm. We can go back to the ruins of Andershell and continue to clear that. Out. Yep, we could get the quest mm -hmm. from Hallow, uh, from Quell to do that. We mm -hmm. could also check out uh, the 
Slaughter Scar, which is where a lot of adventurers go as well. Um, and the also, point. yeah, mm-hmm. because I think they're also trying to go to the Black Tower. Which, oh wait, I don't know okay. about that. Oh no, yes I do, because I'm Minerva. Uh, yeah, like yeah, Minerva, so yeah. maybe we could sneak into the Black Tower while they're creating, you know, a ruckus down there. That's um, actually makes a bit of sense. <laughs> that is actually not a bad idea. A broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> we also ha- we also have the option of going to Shulshanek and finding, um, what's his name? Lashinara. Yeah, Minerva Lashinara. would Lashinara. really like to go to Shulshanek. Minerva's Lashinara. like, yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, wait, I'm training. But uh, if you do go, here's a shopping list. Oh, like, <laughs> we're not, we're, 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 if we're going to go to Shulshanek, we'll wait till you're done with your training. Like, oh, okay. Where's Shulshanek? In the forest, yeah. It's down near Slaughterscar. Oh, that's, that's the old one town. Past River Bend, which mm-hmm. is where all the refugees were going. Yep. We also have um the option of joining with um Kukulane, not Kukulane, um Kingsley's. Which we could probably probably do and go to Lacuma Keep at the same time. Oh yeah, the uh, the um undead task force thing. Yes. Yeah, exactly. that's a good point. We should actually investigate to see if they're, you know, not just a bunch of freaking amateurs. Like you know, more and we also have happens. like many places we haven't visited yet. Is also the other thing, like we haven't gone to Castle Grief over on the left or Krokar. We haven't really gone south. You've gone to Krokar. We've gone to Krokar. Yeah. Have we gone to Krokar? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's where the tools are. Oh yeah. right, yes, I remember. That's where we got wrecked. We got wrecked by the ogre and almost yes. killed by Shinara. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess south is really where we haven't really been much. Yeah, that's because the source scars down there seems dangerous. I mean, there's other places. Yes. Yeah, and you know, if we go, if we are going down, then we can always uh, we can always uh, escort a caravan. Mm-hmm. And, yep. I, uh, and you know, I mentioned that uh, that that no, knowing that Shiro uh, is after a bit of cash. Yes. So as as Liza said, we have many, many, many options. So yeah. it's a matter of deciding what we what we want to do in what order we want to do them. If we want to do some, not some, not at all. What mm-hmm. what sort of time frame are we expecting to get a response back from the orderly? From it... from from Castlane, Jarek. Um, mm-hmm. Well, the guy there said that he would get it to him, but he will read it. Uh, he can't tell you when he would read it, um, but it would yeah, be yeah, but I'm when he was available. Be expecting a response. I mean, if he says, "Yeah, I'll see you in two days," and we've all trooped down to Florida Scar for a month. <laughs> I thought. Sorry, I thought you were asking me. My no, no, no. <laughs> Yep, Sean makes a good point. Probably shouldn't leave once we've uh, asked for an invitation somewhere. Well, how, how long? Have we, how long have we got until the train's finished? Eight of weeks, days yeah. for Sean. And no, was it? No, Sean was um twelve days, wasn't he? No, ten days ten for days. Sean. Yeah, which no. has eight days left. Don't and how many three days? Didn't you say? Sorry, I thought Julian said three days. You've been here for three days. No, you won't. Is, is it, but this we is the didn't. End, end we didn't Thursday. start training until the second day, did we? Correct. Yeah. 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 So two days in. Two days in. So you and how many lungs have we got? 24 days left. <laughs> so possibly we possibly we wait around until Sean's finished. We head to Lacrima Keep, deal with that, come back, and Minerva might be finished training by then. And also Cinnabon might be healed by then. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I only say Lacrima Keep because it's the closest thing and it's not very far away from Summerton. That's that's true, but there's still um five days on Kruber's armor, I think. Is that right? About that. Yeah. So if we stick for in Thompson for a week, yeah. essentially, then we get Kruber's armor, we get Sean back. Yep. And I've and, been and we, I've we been saying you can do some downtime things. But you know, you, you don't have to yeah. be adventuring all the time. You are yep. out on the road doing dangerous things. You can come back and you can just say, I want to drink and sit around and do SFA for the next two weeks. And that is completely legit because, you know, 
you need some downtime. Yeah, I think I think Lenzer is quite happy just to rest here for the remainder of the week at least. See if we get invited to to the um to, to the to the manor. Keep an eye out what's going on in the city, seeing how the how the mood changes over the week after the attack, and just yeah, chill until we're ready to head out again. Possibly talk to Kingsley and stuff about what, what they're setting up, but just apart from that, just relax. Okay. Find a source where all the locations are. That's fine. I'll put you back on the city. Yep. If we're here for that time, then during the downtime, sure, we'll try to talk to the Dwarven Smith in town. Stay near the forge, commune. Doric. Yep, Doric. Which I think was number nine, was he? No, that's Shane killed house. What was Doric? Eleven. Doric's blades. Find out if Doric has any uh, Ithor. I doubt it. Just wondering. No, he doesn't. Okay. No, if you want, if you want Ethor, you have to go to Crocar, mate. Indeed. Yes. I'm going to go soon. Go down, get some work at a bakery for a couple, uh, for the duration. Sure. You can do that. <laughs> Relaxing. Okay. okay, you guys can be doing your downtime stuff. Conversing with aliens with strange code, it seems Den's doing. Mm -hmm. um, three days later, so you've been now back in the city for six days, you will get an invitation back to the Castellan Manor. Jarek will see you. That's right. Wait, yeah. When's the invitation for? Yeah, it's for. Oh, did we lose someone? Did we lose Den? Yeah, we lost Den. We lost him. He did say that he had limited power, I think, on what he was using. Yeah, on his earbuds. Yeah. Um, that's fine. So the invitation is for later that day. You are to turn up unarmed and unarmed. unarmed. Oh, you can't even carry a knife. That is a, a, knife is, a knife is generally not considered to be armed. Oh, good. It is. So we have to wear, like, T-shirts? You can go wearing baby oil if you want. Or, or tanning butter. But no, um... So, no, just off? Oh, no, that's true. So, yes, it's... So, when people, especially nobles or lords, etc., you want to go visit them, you would go just wearing, you would go just wearing clothes, mm -hmm. regular clothes. I just got a bit of repeats on someone's. That's okay. We've got thing. a cart. We can put all our stuff in the cart, park it on. You're, you at, you're at kindly Olory's place. You can leave your stuff here. Yeah, I'm not parking mine in the street, not a freaking cart. Are you mad? Yeah. You've, you've also got you've, guards. You've also got Theta, oh, yeah. Kukulane, and Aaron. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there. that's fine. As long as they're staying with it in the thing. Thady reckons this is great because you guys are still paying him and he's just been lying around, feet up, chilling out. Paid him for like a year or something stupid, didn't we? No, not that we long. Paid we paid him for, for three months. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So he's just got his feet up, smoking a pipe, drinking some beer. I think they ended the afternoon off. Or the day off even. That's dangerous. You saw, you've seen his character sheet. What's his intelligence? Oh, I tell him he should go see his dad, go see his parents or, or, or other relatives, if he has any. Uh, no. Okay. Do you know the way to your, uh, to your uh, parents or other relatives? Yep. He knows where his sister and mum live. Yep. Bye bye. Sure. Bye. All right. Thank so, you. Don't be in uh, state of trouble. He picks up all his gear and he wanders off. <laughs> oh, let's hope he doesn't sure? end up in the end up being arrested by the Beatles. Hi, Tasha. Did you give him the note that tells him where he lives, just in case? <laughs> I'm sure he uh, he probably already has that note. Um. Row 
Oh, I suppose I was enclosed that I'm a, uh, that isn't just my uh, my army gamson. Yeah, everybody's got clothes. Yeah, they might not have any good clothes. Mm-hmm. And you know, part of being back in town, so you guys also need to cover the cost. I should have asked you this before. Of um, although you are um, leeching having, off kindly, leeching off kindly, so that's fine. Let's have a look. Come on, Sean's tuition fees paid for all this. What was that, sorry? Sean's tuition fees paying for all our stay in here. Yeah, it's more you, for everybody else. Yeah, you choose the condition, so you'd be effectively in standard conditions at the moment. So that's just healing and recovery rates of normal characters may have comfortable rests, and there is no reaction adjustments. Characters training have no modifications. So that's just where you are at the moment which is normally five gold pieces per level um, that you are paying, um, which is per week. But, but that's but that's mitigated by you staying at Kylie Gallery's place, so it's fine. Um, but you might want to go and purchase some new clothes. It's up to you. New clothes going to a noble's house. Minerva would probably point that out at some stage. Yep, absolutely. Um, on, on that note, Lenza will not be coming along with this one. I mean, they'd be because, A, Lenza probably wouldn't be bothered or couldn't be bothered dealing with nobles and stuff unless she really has to. And secondly, I need to leave because I need to go pick my sister up before the um, five-kilometer lockdown happens. So I might be back. I don't know whether I'll be back before um, we finish, but yes, it was good. But Lenza will be just bumming around town. Cool. Doing good luck. But yes, I'll I will be back. I don't know. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Break that blockade. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Enjoy the TNT four. Okay. So yes, it's like <laughs> Minerva with her um, history and her knowledge would probably indicate that yes, a some fresh clothes would probably go down well. You guys, the clothes you do have tend to be a little bit stinky and worn, battered torn, etc. Probably patched up numerous times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His undershirt is overpowering. I mean, we shouldn't go as a massive group anyway. Like, we should pick, like, a spokesman and maybe two other people, really. Yeah. yeah. Generally don't go. There are four of you on at the moment, so you may okay. as well just four of you go, if it's up to you. Yep. Perfect. Uh, Please, the rest of the party votes. I do not go. I'm sure they. I'm sure they want you there. <laughs> is it? Is it a rough solid, a solid pillar of moral support. <laughs> what, what's the cost of buying some nice clothing? As to nice okay, clothing? so if you we spent, if you spent, store. if you spent like um, two gold, you'd get a good outfit. A good outfit. Okay. You're going to have to spend three gold though. Me. <laughs> You're six foot eleven. It's got to be very tailor made, even more tailor made than normal. Wait, but surely if Shiro and he get outfits made, you know, cancels out. <laughs> no, no. first no three. No, because yours is extra small. It's just it's just hard to find something for him because everything is a halter top. Yeah, well that works. Have you seen my abs? Look at my abs. <laughs> it was more the shoulders in the gif I posted above. I saw yes. the gif. <laughs> he was a sizable lad. Yeah. Is that, um, that's, that gif is just that's as far as he can move his arms. <laughs> he Look. can't. When he walks around, it, that's how he walks because he can't get him down past his He's like, back. I need to scratch my balls. I can't reach. <laughs> I had cause to type beefcake. They have shrunk to the gift search. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. So the four of you then can head to Castellan's Manor. Are any of you going in breach of the request and taking or wearing any arms, armor, trying to hide anything, obfuscate a. An I only got my dinner knife on my on me. I've just got my stiletto, my knife. 
Kruvel's tempted to take his dinner rant, sir, but he won't. It's a fork. It's a splayed. <laughs> dinner splayed. <laughs> yeah, let me eat some meat Military too. splayed. <laughs> well, does, if, if Minerva thinks it's, it, it's uh, Dirk is officially non-armed, I'll take that, otherwise I'll leave it at home. That's fine. A Dirk is generally okay. So knives and daggers. Everyone can carry one of those around the street. You're allowed to carry something small that is yeah. not considered to be armed. It's when you're starting to carry, you know, sidearms, larger weapons, weapons for of military design and use that you might get into trouble, especially going to a noble's house, especially after he has invited you. Yeah, people eat with knives, so you know. Some people eat with branches. And they were not, no. is it? Is everyone getting a nice pair of set of clothes? Yes. Uh, yes, if if they're up for free, I will definitely get a set of clothes. Uh, it's free gold. Shiro is all about that. He's Kruger is going to often to pay for Shiro's, provided Kruger gets the choice of colour and pattern. Um, no, what? he'll be putting his house heraldry on it. So... Okay, you can get so, your house heraldry so as long so as I have cool. as long as I get to have jester colours for the rest. Of it. No, it, he, he, it's a ha what are you talking about? There are colours like it's his house's outfit. They uh, will you wear the jester you know, half on top? Would uh, you uh, no. uh, would you roll the mercenary company get uh, uh, let you get away with co wearing colours that aren't, aren't out of the company? Probably not. Well, I mean, if someone was buying yeah, sure. it for me, yeah, but then he just wouldn't. He does. He doesn't want them unless he they can actually be his heraldry. You're <laughs> not buying because he doesn't have money. Oh yeah, he's not buying. He has no money. His three gold. Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll shout. Never we'll shout him some uh, some nice clothes with no strings so attached nice. because he no. knows you'll heal him if he gets hurt. No. Yes, not, I will. Not that he wants to be healed, because the magic is bad. I mean, Krug is just being honest here. Or maybe this is his house. Alright. Okay, so a few little that, that knives... Was... Uniform there, that last one. Mm -hmm. That is his cultural dress. Yeah, because he's living in snow and ice. <laughs> hey, if you wear that living in the snow and ice, it's, it's just how tough you are. His heraldry is black and orange, and it's a burning wheel. But, yep. Can we put some bells on the outfit? No. You can get your gear. They're different size bells, though. And can you I can then bells in your face with my fist. And then you can get to Castellane's Manor. Excellent. Cool. Let's do it. I, I, I'd like to report Nevin for more for sexual Morris meeting. Oh. <laughs> All right. You'll get you turn up yourself. looking spiff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you will be shown in. There's a different guy um, who you'll talk to. He will show you in. You'll be in a waiting room, and eventually you will meet someone who comes out and gets put into your journals. He looks to be fairly noble of bearing, a rather handsome young man. Broad shoulders, but is wearing a fairly ostentatious outfit. Um, seems to take his role ultra seriously. He has a noble bearing. So, His pun? It's a good thing we dressed up. Has noble bearing. He has a very good posture. And he has a large um, long sword uh, with a jeweled hilt on his hip. Hmm. Love it. 
He is meeting you in a room with a large, roaring fire. The smell of smoke hangs thick in the air, and it is burning a wood which is kind of sweet-smelling, giving the whole room both kind of a heady and also thick, heavy atmosphere. He's... Ah, the adventurers who want to help find my dear father. Please, um, sit down. Let us discuss the matter at hand, and I'll see what I can do. He also has two uh, of his house guard in the room with him. They are wearing breast and fold, carrying um, short swords on their hip, but also um, they've got large-looking, ornate um, long swords, which they have in hand resting point down on the ground. Please sit down. I will organize uh, some drinks. Do you have any particular poison that you prefer? <laughs> yes, I absolutely. Don't... Do you uh, have any vodka? Um, I'm sure we could have some somewhere. Hard no. spirits. Honeyed tea with cloves? Of yeah. course. Very well. Um, he will ring a little bell on a small little sitting table next to him. A, a servant will come in, get your orders, look a little bit concerned when the request for vodka is made, um, <laughs> but she will then you know, still go out, nodding her head. Yes. <laughs> so, you, uh, you want to help find my father. I, uh, I appreciate the offer. The um, concern is that he has indeed perished in the fighting that took place some time ago, but his body has not been discovered. I have heard rumour that he was seen being cast into the river now. And he'll look around. This is... Uh, I don't have reason to trust you, but... I don't have much reason not to, I guess. Kindly Ollery spoke kindly of you. But that is the kind of man that he is. I have reason to believe that it was at Captain Donalgan's orders that my father was assassinated in the midst of the melee. A knife in the back between the blades. My father was old, but he was noble indeed, and I believe that he was done away with. We have no proof. If a body could be found, that might go some way. Shiro does the gasp, but, you know, his eyes don't blink or anything like that. It's, yeah. It's what a surprise. Is, do you know what the, what the relationship was between your, uh, your father and the captain? Oh, it was adversarial. Very much so. They both had, yeah, they both had their own belief on how the city should be run and the valley should be run. My father is the lord of the city, was the lord of the city, if he has indeed perished. And may the eight um, have mercy upon his soul. He was basically given the mandate for overseeing the ruling ruling of this place, but. The captain, Donalgan, was a man of some ambition. Okay, not saying anything out loud, but just watching him. He doesn't seem, like, very broken up over his father's death. Does his eyes get red when he speaks of, like, assassination? Does he, like, blink rapidly when he talks of, like, casting over into the river? Does his hand tighten on his sword hilt or anything? Does he seem angry when he speaks of the lieutenant? These are all just... very, very poignant questions. And you know what? Since you're asking very pointed questions, make a wisdom check for me, please. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, no, Shiro. Yeah, I'm Shiro. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Here we uh go. Seven. Yes, I am successful. He seems very casual in discussing it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because uh, I'm not saying anything out loud, but just Shiro is like, yep, the lieutenant had something to gain, but you have gained a lot more, potentially. Like that nice sword. Uh, I'm saying to the party, there's a reason why I was fine with Kruger not being brought along. Uh, Kruger struggled to keep it in. All right. Cool. Continue listening to this this tale. Um, yep. So yes, the captain and my father were adversary of going back many years. The captain believed that this should be a military-run city and the valley should be under his watch. Um, I guess in some way there was you know, logic behind that, but you don't want a populace of civilians overseen by a military rule that doesn't sit well. So my father had the rule and they did butt heads and you know, he tried to go his own way but was constrained and for the most part the most part he says kind of gesturing kind of an iffy kind of thing they got on for the betterment of the people of the valley but well, in recent times there have been concerns, the mercenaries heightened tensions dramatically between the two, and the, the city was under incredible duress. And that bastard quelled and you know, quelled the situation, any. Oh, so the most passionate oh. he's been is when he talks about quell? Like oh. that's the angriest he's been? I'm Poss just possibly checking. Okay. Didn't quell the situation any, and if our informatives and uh, intelligence is to be believed, he was behind the mercenaries where they've gone. I'm not too sure. Rumor has it that they have camped around the slaughter scar and are beginning to slowly invade that place. Hopefully, they all die to a one. But, yes, my father's body has not been found, if indeed he has been slain. There were a few eyewitnesses that said that a, a man stabbed him between the blades and threw him over the bridge and into the river. I did not see it. What's this man? No one knows. If we, if we knew... If we knew, we would have taken him in, questioned him, and got information that way. But we don't. The body is what we need for you know some form of uh, proof, at least to begin some form of official investigation. Because if it can be proved that he was not slain by the undead abominations that spawned within the town, which is another question altogether, one that I have been seeking answers to, how that happened, how it spread so quickly. But also, why the military, why the garrison responded in such quick and you know, very strategic manner it, you know, across the city, across the river. They didn't, they didn't breach the bridges except in one small spot and they were quickly driven back. It was almost as though the garrison knew the attack was coming and were able to sally forth very quickly to stem the tide. But mm. I, I, I speak too much, I speak too much, and I do not know you, so um, my tongue has been loosened, I guess, from all the stress and worry that I have had to deal with lately. Of course, the letter from Kindly Ollery spoke glowingly of you. So tell me, what can you do to assist me and what can I do to assist you in your pursuit of justice? If he was um, thrown, uh, stabbed and thrown in the river, do you, uh, um, has anyone bothered looking down river to see if there's a, uh, if the if a corpse has been found yet? Oh yes, we've had people scouring the river. But okay. bodies do not always come to the surface, and unfortunately there are some creatures that reside in the waterways. It is possible that if any body did end in the water, it might be consumed, or at the very least dragged into some den. What type of armour was he wearing? 
Um, I do believe he was wearing armor, other than maybe an arming jacket or a, a, an armored doublet. I was wondering if something could be holding him to the bottom. He was very quick to respond, knowing full well what was happening um, when he was told. That is, he managed to get a small group of our house guard and he rushed forth. Unfortunately, I was not in the city at the time. Otherwise, I would have been by my father's side and could have possibly stayed the assassin's blade. No, what business had called you away? Through. I was off at Crocar on diplomatic mission. You have our sympathy for your unfortunate absence at this trying time. I appreciate the words. Can I make some sort of wisdom check to, you know, basically to basically make it a, a functional equivalent of an insight check to see if I think he's on the level of back up being in Crocar? You, look, it's, I believe he probably was in Crocar. I'm a little concerned that the reason that Castellane was killed be was because he was getting on too friendly with the elves and the dwarves hate them. That's my like another concern that I'm having now. Of course, you're saying this. No, no, I'm not saying anything out loud. I'm just. I know, but you're talking curious, to the other players. Like, oh. That's all. Oh. So you are conversing thought process here and yeah. now. Indeed. Yes, unfortunately, I had been off to see Lord Harand at uh, Krokar about mineral exports from the valley. Yes, yeah, so, uh, we, are, we are acquainted with Lord Harand. He seems quite a nice fellow. Indeed, indeed he is. Above board and, and, and very considerate for a dwarf. Mm. So, did, would you... Does your... Do, does the Lord have any? Uh, does your father would be wearing any particularly uh, distinguished, dis distinctive clothing or jewelry, or have any particular features we would be looking for? In the off chance we did find a body. The attack began after midnight, and my father was in bed when it did begin. He, I believe, was um, wearing just trousers and threw uh, um, uh, an armoured doublet on and rushed forth with his rapier and some house guard. He may have been wearing his signet ring or some of his more well-known uh, pieces, but for the most part, no. And again, I wasn't here, so I only have hearsay and... Um, the words rushed in in such a rushed and stressful period of the the servants and the house guard who were with him. Mm. Uh, a, did any of the house guard who 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 went with him to fight the uh, fight the, the fight this menace? Did they survive? Yes, they did, and we have spoken to them. But again, the assault upon the city occurred well after midnight. It was dark, and um, one of them is one of the people who believed that he was stabbed by a, a man, an assailant, rather than slain by the undead. Uh, so the assassin, and we have more information, more uh, in people who have corroborated this story. Um, so it stands to reason that this is the case. We have kept this under wraps for now, because if indeed the military is behind this, if Donalgan is behind this, then uh, we don't want to tip our hats that we know. Not yet, anyway. Not till we can obtain information to remove him from the seat of power that he wields over this city. As a yes, and that would be a most difficult. I imagine that might be, uh, would be a difficult prospect, considering you'd have to petition his superior. Indeed, he has the power in the city of a military nature. If he wishes to seize control of the city, he can. There's nothing to stop him. Does the city have a diving bell? No, we have no reason for one. Not that I'm aware of. It's possible that there might be one on the docks, but... The water here in the river, it's murky at best. There's very little reason to go into it. 
We've also heard that there are creatures in the river. Do you know anything of them? He yes. We might drag the body off. Yes, mm. there are some creatures, especially down south. There have been reported sites. The last I heard of one, there was some worm-like creature that had slithered out from Kirkle Ridge and had made a home near the near the shoreline and was assailing boats upon its surface. Mm. Dastardly creatures, but monsters are what monsters are, and Unfortunately, I do not have much knowledge of them. I am not learned in their lore. Mm -hmm. It's sad that you uh, that you were considered to be more to be uh, expert in these matters. I beg your pardon. I didn't quite catch that. Your microphone broke up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it, is there anyone in town who may uh, who may be? Uh, he may have some no further knowledge of these matters, of these creatures, I should say. The river captains tend to have a lot of knowledge about them. They fight them far more re uh, frequently than um, most others because they are upon the, the the waters. And you might see that they generally go armed to bear. Mm -hmm. There is one captain that is fairly well known to me, Captain Bray. <laughs> he, is a, he, he is a good man grey in some areas I would absolutely consider as most of the captains are of varying degrees and shades but he is, he is good and I, I knew him when he was younger okay I can have a writ made out um, introducing you if you have not met and asking for assistance. We might be even able to uh, requisition his vessel and his services. To travel down the river, maybe look for the nest of this monster and see if it has perhaps dragged your... To find my father's body oh, if it has gone to it could have snagged anywhere it could even be still stuck under a dock very hard to find the river does flow reasonably strong though so one would hope that any body that had been thrown over and found its way within the water would actually end up being dislodged and coming ashore somewhere but the the river does flow fairly far down out of the civilized and lands out of the valley and into the wild so who knows where or what anybody may have uh, ended up. So, yes, of course, if, that is if the information is true. If your father had been attacked and somehow survived, might he be hiding, unsure of who had come after him? Oh, it is possible. My father is nothing if not cunning and intelligent. He did not... Um, survive in a position such as this for so long, even taking Donalgan and the military out of the equation, someone in his stead does get many enemies. It is just the nature of the beast. And being a diplomatic person who has survived for countless decades in a very volatile environment such as the Valley, there have been more than one or two assassins that have come after him. He is canny and he is knowledgeable, but yes, you are absolutely right. If he did survive, he may be in hiding. Good point. Something that I had not thought about. My grief had overwhelmed me and I had thought that he lost, had been lost. Naturally, naturally. Uh, how did your, no particular reason, how did your father get on with Lashvanara the Conjurer? Respect, mutual respect. Uh, if Lashanara was here, word has it that he is still in Shilshanek and has been for some time. I am concerned, absolutely, about what is happening down there. The elves are not the friends that they purport to be. As someone with an elvish friend, I entirely understand. Well, elves and and elvish friend are different. I'm referring to elves in matter of their leadership. Individual elves absolutely take them or leave them. Some are nice, some aren't. The elven leadership, however, is antagonistic. 
They had one who was fairly noble, young man, as far as elves go, Dorian. Mm. Unfortunately, he uh, he met an end at an assassin's blade as well. Sometimes it seems you can't turn around without seeing an assassin. Indeed. But yes, I can, if you are willing to search for my father's body, then absolutely. I can make many arrangements for you. I will have someone write something out to introduce you to Captain Bray. Is there anything else that I can do for you? My time is short and I have meetings that I must attend. No, you've been very helpful. I believe. Thank you for your time. If, if, if there is not any news confirmed of your father either way, uh, for the stability and peace of Sumberton, when would there be a official decision made where his heir presumptive would then take over? That's a good question. What I hadn't thought about, mainly because um, at the moment I am trying to still the city's restlessness. Of my course. my mother, um, the Lady Evelyn, and my younger son, uh, Tiran, would also need to be um, protected, and I am worried about their safety. If someone came for my father, perhaps they come for the rest of us. But to answer your question, the, there would have to be an official declaration of death first. That might take some time. Um, nobody has stated anything untoward about him at this point in time, merely that he is missing, but there are others missing as well. I would, I, would, I would assume that perhaps within the next week, if he has not been found, that he might be declared either deceased or no longer um, in uh, standing in his stead, in his seat. Therefore, possibly another month or more before a nomination is put forth uh, to be validated um, by the nobles of the the kingdom, and that person would then be. Elevated. It is, as far as I understand, a fairly, fairly simple process, and not one that would be probably have any standing against. Of course, that would be myself, I would assume, but it is not a hundred percent guaranteed that it would be me. There could be others. In fact, Donalgan could even put his name forth and hope to be nominated himself. And if he has standing within the uh, the circle of the nobles, then perhaps, yes, perhaps he could get that nomination. I heard that Harlow Quell was trying to raise some additional lords by conquering... Uh... Yes, Harino. Yeah. Harino Quell has ambitions indeed. And he has been very much a thorn in the side of both my father and Donalgan over the years. And he has grown more bold recently. I believe that he is making moves and has definitive and very definite machinations uh, in play by which he plans to either steal the power or legitimately try to claim it. Hmm. Hmm. Would he have enough votes to seal the deal if he did conquer Andrushel? If he was able to reclaim Andrushel, then perhaps so. It has been a, a blight upon the valley for untold years, longer than my family has been here, for sure. Hmm. It, perhaps it, you would be better it, off conquering it. Well, it is, a, it is a cesspit and a hellhole. And many have tried and none have succeeded. All have failed. And welcome back, Oz. Well, I'm return. And we have all failed to welcome back, Oz. Mm. We can we can retcon Oz into this discussion. Oh, I'm not, I'm, are we still at the um the manor? Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm oh, not yes. here. Don't worry. 
I said I, okay. I said Lenza wouldn't be here, so okay. Lenza is not here. That's fine. So the thing is with Quill, he has wealth, and wealth is power, and wealth buys friends even if it doesn't earn them. Mm -hmm. So it is possible mm -hmm. that he could put forth his name among the nobles. He could very much su succeed in securing one or more nominations. And he could very much be legitimately given the position of power. Mm. I believe that the uh, mercenaries who for want of a better word, besieged our fair city here for some time, were under his direct employ. And that was to try and goad both my father and Donalgan into some form of conflict, and that he would then use their mercenaries, who were sizable in number, to try and um, come in and take over. But when that didn't occur, the mercenaries headed south. Why they're at the slaughter sky, is, which is what our intelligence says, I have no idea. I do not understand why he would be down there. There is nothing there but death. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your graciousness, my lord. Oh, I'm not a lord at the moment. And hopefully I do not become a lord for some time. I wish I have my Indeed. father back. Indeed. Running the city is... Giving me grey hairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I believe him at all? It's hard to tell. <laughs> He's, he is very casual in the way he discusses things, but you don't know him well enough to know whether or not he is truthful. That said, if only Minerva were here. <laughs> Lack of emotion. Uh, yeah. Okay. Minerva, who has experience with nobles. Yeah. Minerva, who would be, well, I've sat here rubbing my crystal wand, and it says you're a liar. Uh, who's, who's sat there rubbing her crystal wand in a very suggestive way. Suggests it's dirty. So anyway, as I said, I have other meetings to attend. The Indeed. city does not run itself. At the moment. Nor does the ale drink itself. Let's leave. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, we should return to Kindly Aurelius and discuss exactly how we can find his father. All right, you can all be back at Kindly Aurelius. You can have the whole crew there if you wish. Excellent. What did I miss? Okay, well. I'm mostly shut up. <laughs> oh, well, that's not, well, that's not true. It, it is, surprisingly. surprisingly. Yeah, Len, Len, Lenza, Lenza fully believes that you're all pulling one over her. Um, if, if you actually say, if, if, if um, Kruber actually says that. <laughs> the does. young lord seems very serious. He seems to be uh, taking the job very serious, taking himself even more seriously. Uh, he said a few things that rang false to me. Uh, he said that uh, some of the guards perhaps assassinated his father and threw him over a bridge, you know, rumours. Um, but he didn't seem angry at the guard captain in any way. He didn't seem upset about his father being at the bottom of the river. Uh, he had very little reaction whilst talking about assassination. Um, he seems to be friends with uh harold what's the dwarf's name lord harrand lord harrand he's going to be friends with lord harrand which might mean that it, like there's some potential rift between the dwarves and the elves that we know about um so maybe he's like with the dwarf faction his father was a bit with the elf faction for potentially or um i mean it's entirely possible that hollow quell killed him tried to pin it on the guards so that the two of them would fight like intrigue is dangerous there's no eyewitnesses um so mm. we can't do any questioning or anything like that 
uh, yeah, this this sort of situation is just really sticky. Um, but he did arrange for us to meet with the captain, uh, Bray, um, and hopefully uh, requisition the ship to search downriver for his father's body. There's been word of monsters to the south down near um, the hills that there's like a worm monster that comes out and attacks the ships. So maybe that got a hold of the corpse as it floated down river. And if we can find him, he hopefully has a signet ring and at least his family rapier. So maybe those are still there. So he didn't... There was two people talking at once then, sorry. Go down. Okay, then we'll go. Side note on the worm monster, Kruber's putting down two gold saying when we encounter it, it looks at Hypatia and says, Mummy! <sighs> Don't you remember the worm yes. that you infested with? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Same full circle. Hmm. So we get to clean up our mess. Those worms were in a pretty different location. But yeah, they were mm. waterways from, from Andrusho. Yeah. yeah, so that would and you guys washed off somewhere around here, but it is one waterway. Yep, and the river flows through Sumberton. Yeah, mm-hmm. and here's Kirkwall Ridge down here. Yep. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so do we want to... So that's an option. Um, Only I mean, now that we know that there's right. going to be an election in a month, we have, like, real negotiating trying, power. Henry was trying to say something then, too. Oh. If only you know someone who was shipwrecked around the uh, around those hills. Yeah. Around Kirkwell Ridge. Yeah, I mean, we've been in Kirkwell Ridge quite a bit. Look, there's two triangles in that area. It's more triangles than anywhere else. Mm-hmm. There's two triangles uh, around Silvermont. Mm-hmm. Sorry? There's two triangles around Silvermont. Yeah, well, one is up in the Black Ridge Mountains and the other is in the Plains. Yeah. So, yeah. But so, so, what was your? I was the last. What was your impression? Does he seem like this is? You, you said he didn't seem to react too much to the to these like his father getting assassinated or anything like that. You no, think this, I, is, this is a legit thing that he wants to try and find his body, or if it's just a. Oh, he wants to find his body because he hasn't thought about taking power, and yet he knows exactly how it'll happen. Yep, I believe him. Of course, he's never he he hasn't thought about it at all. Uh, he, I um, did give him the idea that uh, his father might be alive and in hiding, which seemed to make him mildly uncomfortable. Mm. What? So, are you suspicious of like regicide? Yeah. yeah. Or, or that he's just happy that his father's gone. Like, you know, he can I be mean, his, he can be the lord now. It, it didn't have to be him, but it certainly seems like there's a potential of um, him assassinating his father to make way for himself. There's the potential that the guard captain did it. There's the potential that there's like so many players in the valley that could have done it Indeed. that it's it's a bit like yeah. And this is a perfect situation as well. Like, you know, there's a zombie attack. Um, He sort of insinuated that the guards also knew about the zombie attack because of how well they reacted to it. Um, Because, you know, his father was there, like, just in his night clothes, you know, with some, he put some trousers on and had a rapier, you know, where, and and an arming doublet. Whereas, you know, the guards came out in force and stuff. They managed to put it down quickly. They stopped it from getting across the bridge. Like, that's kind of iffy as well. He Uh, was also uh, conveniently out of town at the time. 
with the dwarves. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. it's interesting that he knew, uh, and that makes it, I guess, more interesting that he knew how well, how quickly they responded. Well, you can see it. We know. There's heaps of talk about it as well. Like people were saying, we have heard that they responded very quickly. But as well, and you can see the evidence of how far it spread. Like in the middle of the night, you know, there's the way that like the zombies were multiplying. Like I don't know, they did a pretty good job. It seems pretty clear. Is, is it competence, or is it sinister, or is it something more sinister? Though it takes a lot of time to put on armor, and there are a lot of people in armor very quickly. So. Um, maybe I mean, they're in armor for some other reason. Maybe they're the standby troops. Like, yeah, I, mean, I was going to say, like, sure, you'd, especially after the mercenary service, you'd have a, you'd have people on guard probably around the clock. Absolutely, but do you have enough to put down a quelling this, like, this quickly? Well, it depends. If, if, if it, it depends on how much it was staged. Mm, and it does seem like there's a much larger garrison here than anybody knew about. So potentially that's the reason that happened. Like I said, I'm not. I'm just giving you the information that we got, which is a whole lot of hearsay and like conjecture. So, you from, know, from what, we, what we've seen, like the the gardens, you seem pretty competent, even like before, even before this. Like they they took their they took their jobs very seriously, and like I've never seen them being like really slack in terms of the in terms of what they're doing. Obviously, I've never seen people like what happens inside the keep, but like at least outside with the guards and the walls and patrols and whatnot. Yeah, like, they, and they, they, they um they caught um who was the dude uh, in league with the yoga who we got who we got ratted out by the sergeant yeah well I assume he just handed himself in because he was like not making a whole lot of sense that was sergeant Gamblin yeah because yeah, Sergeant Gamblin. Like they 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 dealt with that pretty quickly and efficiently. Like it wasn't. But that was Castellan who dealt with that. Mm, true. Uh, Castellan and Lashinara, I would say. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, that's an option. Like I said, we've got like a really good hold over Harlow Quell now because um, we know that like getting more votes by making people into lords which involves like conquering territories could make him the lord of Sumberton. so that would be worth a lot of money to him i'm thinking um which is certainly the most mercenary option that is available to us um yeah you're, you're talking about andrashell was there a particular interest in that or no well i mean i'm just I'm just putting forward options that we have. He would like us to go down river and look for his father, which is what we said that we would like to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, the other option is that we go buy some potions of water breathing and check out the bottom of the river. Um, seems like a total waste of time. They said that it's super murky down there. How, how fast does the river flow? It doesn't flow heaps fast, but it flows fast enough that if there was any body down there, it would become most likely dislodged and um, would end up being washed ashore at some point. Down, further down, yeah. Unless yeah. it was secured or weighed down significantly or taken. Yeah, cool. I mean, on that note, Dan, it seems like a good spot to finish it if we are going to do that. But mm. um, Well, do we want to... Yeah, well... Do we want to wait oh, to... We lost Sean. Oh, okay. Do we want to wait till we get our gear before we leave? Or should we go down river now and come back when we can pick up um, Sean? I feel, I feel like this is going to be an even quicker job than going to, to going to Lacrima Keep. So I think doing this now... Yep, for, travel down river with the down captain. River, yeah. Okay. This, this also seems like somewhat of a, somewhat of a time sensitive mission, or more so than anything else, because the longer we leave it, the more likely, the more harder it will be to find any evidence, etc. I so, feel like we're gonna travel down river and fight a monster and leave empty handed, but I am willing to give it a go. Um, I can cast augury and find out if that's like a good idea. Do we have well. any uh, for the spellcasters here? Do we have anyone who can actually like I don't know whether like locate objects a thing, but like I assume there's 
equivalent spell or something. Spying, divination, something, something. I don't have, um... A, I don't have that prepared, but B, it, we're not high enough level for okay, stuff yeah. like that. Yep, sorry, um, yeah. So your augury as well is like within the next half hour or something like that. Yeah, exactly. It's only a short, so, and it's like, I'm going to open this door, wheel or woe, type of thing. Um, you could say, get on board this ship. Yeah, wheel or woe. Yeah. That kind if, of stuff. If it's so sink in the next half hour, yes. Well, if it's like... not if it's going to sink. It's just, it's just. I'm going to, I am going to board this ship. You state in action. I am going to board this ship, and then yeah, but... you don't, you don't know. You don't say, is it going to sink? You just say, I'm going to board the ship, and then you'll get an answer accordingly if you roll but, well but enough. It's only if woe or will or happens in the next half That's hour. That's right, but it doesn't if, necessarily if mean it's be sink. If, if it, it sinks in 45 minutes, it don't, won't tell you. It doesn't, um, but it's not just sink. It might be like something else. It could be that by, but, but, but what I'm trying to say, no, no, stop, 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 stop. stop, stop. Julie, no, you I don't. Understand. You don't, I because, do. no, stop. And let me explain. It could just, you could get woe because by going down there, nothing bad happens to you, but you might miss something. You, for example, if you board the ship and in the next half an hour something happened where you were, that would be woe. Okay? Yeah. So I'm trying to yeah. say it doesn't, it's not necessarily woe about you being on board the ship. It's just that you state this, you take this action and wheel or woe is the outcome. And that is based upon a whole lot of things. Not just My about comment was the ship. Nearly the ship sinking was just an example of what I know. I was trying to explain happen. though the I was trying to explain to you how broad ranging it the spell can be. I understand that. Yeah. As to your object is a level three spell, which can be cast by a level five cleric. Yes. Which Sean will be in four days or five days or whatever it is. Yeah. Six. Uh yeah, so what is your plan? Also, we could also ask kindly Olery if he could locate the object. That other, that other high priest. Uh, was it? I mean, the thing is, it's not, it's not that long a range. It's only 120 feet. Oh, damn. Okay, so it would definitely be useful to have Sean with us if we went down river. Essentially, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so locate object. L. Um, or clearly visualized. It's object. it lasts it lasts for an hour. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. So if you're in a boat and sailing down the river, yeah, you can cover a lot of ground. But if only if it's but but okay, like that's good too. But I'm saying if we're on a boat and we're traveling down the river and we get attacked by a sea monster and we defeat the sea monster and then we use it in that area that's kind of handy because <laughs> we might actually find the nest, you know, or be led towards it. Well, Cause at the moment I'm like, we get attacked by a sea monster and then we're like, cool. It could be somewhere around here. Maybe. But where it would be useful is at the docks where he was allegedly thrown in. You could cast it there and then do a search around town before you left the city. Absolutely. Just In case down. he is under one of the docks or something like that. Yeah before we even leave town and then you could search anywhere where you think you're going to get like like you said you'd search at the monster nest or whatever but more to the point anywhere where you think there might be a a good snagging spot for something getting washed down river you might cast it there and and search around that area for an hour or so yep yeah no that would be really good um the next question is would you consider a corpse an object no, <laughs> no. But his his son, uh, Jarek, did mention he would have the signet ring. That would be an object. That's what his his rapier yeah. would be a signet. Uh, would be an object. You um, might have dropped that. His scabbard might be. Uh, yep, yep. So you've got a few options there. Yeah. If, if it was, if it was a, if it was deliberate, then probably this ring possibly would have been taken off. I, I guess it depends on how planned it was, because like. That would be yes. something they'd probably take off if they could. But if, Except, it, was a, if, if it was a quick oh, stab but, in the dark over the bridge. And whether or not I get they that, wanted it found. Exactly. Yeah. Like, there's... So, almost everybody wants it found. 
uh, as far as I can see. Like if it's if it's Quell, he he wants the body to be found unless he needs the month to get ready. The son wants the month the the father to be found because he's probably in the leading position at the moment. So you know, if he can if he can cast maybe out. going over the, the bridge was like a, a mistake, even or like. He it just thought maybe, it'd be maybe floating down the river, and it'd the be the father might have tried getting away. Yeah, and fell over the side or something. Mm. I don't know. He did say thrown into the river, but yeah, maybe he just thought it'd wash up straight away, you know. And maybe somebody's hiding the body. <laughs> like maybe it did wash up, and you know the guard. Well, like, no, nah, we're hiding this body. It wouldn't so be maybe the first we... body that's been thrown into the river by assassins. Yeah, um, and that, all that aside, taking the signet ring is a silly move because if someone does find the signet ring in your cupboard, it's not going to look good. Yeah, well, you yeah. want to in your cupboard. You could you could take it off the body and then throw it somewhere else. You know, take it far away so that all the thing is like the thing is like even Sean's it. suggestion. We well, should find Willowbrod, beat the crap out of him until he confesses. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the thing is, the thing is, even if, if the thing is, if we find the signet ring in a random spot away from not not with the body or not with um, cast flame, then that's also damning because that means someone stole, attacked, stole it from him and deliberately. Well, it'll certainly mean that he's dead. That's very likely. Anyway, all of mm. this is conjecture at the moment. Anyway, yes, absolutely. Yeah, we have no idea. If we can find a body, that'd be great because at least we have some answers then. So here's, a, here's another thing you've got to wait for Sean to do. Yeah, so it so sounds we like we should do Sean. downtime activities until Sean's trained up. Yep. Well, you've got four days. You can do something else. You can you know, assault the keep. Well, the boat's got to get ready anyway to sail, I guess. Um, we still got to talk to Bra- uh, the captain. Let me just um, chuck you back here. Yeah. How how what's what's the march for the Crema Keep? The Crema Keep it's about three days, I believe, two or three days. Yeah. So if I go to no snapping, and we go, so you could probably get there in yeah about two days. But I still would want to do that without Sean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sorry, I'm going to have to call it. Yeah, yep. we can finish I'm up there. there. You've got plenty of info. Yes. Um, can I have people send me votes for MVP, please? Now, this this is character, not player, yeah? Correct. Yeah, cool. Or you can just send it to play For player, it doesn't matter, because I know whose character... Yeah, you know, know that. But, but, but it's important that the, character, the characters of the remote are the ones who... Correct. I look forward also to hearing more of Aaron's theories. I sent it on Messenger as is my want. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Should immediately invalidate the vote. Huh, I voted for you, Crail. <laughs> <laughs> then it's invalidated by definition. Can we vote for Crail? No. Look, I mean, no one ever has. You. You could do whatever you want, but like you guys you do have to play so selfish. The rules are that you have to vote for a PC. Like you're not allowed to choose an NPC. Ha- has been, has been correct. You know, uh, established. And who among us is more PC than Grail? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What if I want to vote for female traveller? That one, that one, we, that one random we ran into on the way back from Riverbend. Like well, I said, you can't. Lockdown is hitting you hard already, Oz. Yeah, I'm surprised that you remember where you um, met her. Oh. That was a long time ago. <laughs> and it also has to be someone who played during the session. Yep. No. All right, let's have a look. What have we got here? You tell me that, but I'm just going <laughs> to keep voting for Brian. All right, so Shiro, yeah, Shiro gets it. 
Um, and Hypatia will be runner-up. So, runner-up Hypatia, do you wish experience or a blessing? I'm surprised one of you guys had a card you could have played tonight. Who has the card of amazingness? Oh, uh, I don't have anything that would have been good. I mean, Probably unless we were going to fight. <laughs> it may have been... I think it was me. Probably. Was it Cinnabon? No, it wasn't Cinnabon. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that. Is it the Ask the GM question? Yep. Yeah, that's uh -huh. me. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Oh, I've also got that too. Well, there you go. I don't know when I'd be asking you a question, but... Well, what's the card say? Sacrifice 1 D10 times 100 XP to ask the DM a single question within reason. The DM will answer truthfully if you can make a successful ability check on the lower of your intelligence or wisdom. Oh. Who killed him? Funnily enough, it's with... I, I don't know how your intelligence and wisdom are, Sean, but mine are actually, like, not terrible. Sean's so is a pretty good wisdom. He's got 18. So yeah, but can... it's, the it's the lower. Oh, it's the lower. Right, yeah, sorry. And okay. I wasn't playing Sean. I was playing my other guy. Mm. So it and it's within... The, the wording is within reason. So you couldn't just say who killed <laughs> him. Could <laughs> we ask where the body is? No. That's not, no, within, that's reason. not within reason. But, for example, okay. you could have said outright, is he lying? Okay. So, I feel like he was. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah. you see, again, that's you feel, not you know. This yes. would have been a, a categoric yes or no. Um, so it's, it's got to be obviously something that you could potentially come up with understanding yeah. or information, etc. It's, it's not just, you know, you know, who's the final boss. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll, I can tell you that now. Bill abroad. There is no final boss. I don't believe no. in them. I, I uh, think that Julian is wrong there. The final boss is called our party. <laughs> yeah. I agree with Sean. Enemy. Well, with Henry, but only because the final boss is the friends we made along the way. Oh, no, <laughs> As they always are. Anyway. I thought it was, I thought it was then, the hasn't made any friends, friends yet, so. Anyway, oh, so oh, Hypatia, oh. I don't think I got an answer. Was it experience or blessing? XP. Okay, cool. It's it's the characters we turned into zombies, isn't it? That's the final boss. <laughs> and salt to the highest bidder. Yeah, but I don't believe in final bosses. It doesn't mean you won't fight a boss towards the end, but there is no big bad evil guy. Yeah, that's, that just, has, that's orchestrating everything in the valley, you know. There's just lots of antagonists who might become protagonists or yeah. neutrals along the way. I, I, I propose a new course of action. We kill anybody who talks to us. No. <laughs> then, then, then we'll, we'll cover all our bases. Ah, the dot, <laughs> the dot approach. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Anyway, nice it's star. Thank you player. for the game. Thank you. Look, mate, why, 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 why should we have role playing in our role playing game? <laughs>